Russia. Love 5FN. I've read a huge amount of bitching about how this plane is so op. Now I have it half upgraded. I am a very firm believer that it is not op in any way. Not even a little. And if you think so, you're silly. It really isn't. I mean, it's just not. If you're flying a plane and this plane kills you, you did something dumb. There's just, there's no other word for it. It's just, it's just, ugh. Oh. It's a lot like a zero in the fact that it's a stupid person hunter. At least, while the, while the ME, well, the BF-109, well, the BF-109, it can't turn either. But at least it can dive well. This plane doesn't even dive well, it just climbs. And having a good climb rate without a good dive speed really isn't a good thing. So basically this is a this plane for the most part it's a Russian 109 that can't dive. And it also can't turn just like the 109. 109 can kinda turn. And this plane can also kinda turn. But by that same measure a thunderbolt can kinda turn. It can. I mean, not well. You have to be dumb to try, but people do anyway. The trick is to shoot where the lead indicator is going to be in a few seconds. The other trick is to not suck, which that's the one I have problems with. Alright, you know what? Good one, Dafu. Is this guy lagging really bad or something? <laughs> Or is it just that I'm not the only one who sucks today? I think that's it. <laughs> oh, Spitfire in a very dangerous position relative to me. Did someone ram him? It sounded like someone rammed him, or he just exploded. Either way, I'm unimpressed. Hey, look, a zero at low altitude. Also known as dead. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of people in a position to kill me. Yeah, there's one place you don't want an enemy fighter, that is above and behind you. Above is bad enough, behind you is bad enough. Above and behind, yeah, you're screwed. Especially considering how slow I am right now. I think I'm just waiting for one of them to come at me, then I'm going to counter them. But apparently none of them want to come after me, so I'm just going to go after this uh, Corsair. Corsair. Put your hands in the Corsair. Alright, um, I'm sorry everyone. I have a bad sense of humor, what can I tell you? So I'm going to do a hard dive. If any of those guys want to follow me, I they have the altitude advantage over me. Me climbing up after them is not going to change that. And Corsairs out-dive you. It's just something you're going to have to deal with. But if they're stupid enough to try and turn into you... I am slightly amazed that none of those shots hit. But a Corsair will out-turn you in a sustained turn fight. The only reason I picked up speed on this guy is because he's dumb, and he will outturn me. I'm going to prove it. This is it. I'm putting everything I can into this turn. Oh, nope, he's going into an energy fight. What the hell are you doing energy fighting against the Law 5 for, idiot? That might be where the myth that the Law 5 actually can turn comes from. It can energy fight. It definitely can't turn. And energy fighting in arcade is difficult and stupid, and it's going to get you killed more often than it gets you kills. But I am slowing this guy down directly above our base, and he just turned away from me. If he turned towards me, he might have gotten away. But what he did was stupid, and that was a lot of sparks. Squish. Alright. So, Law 5 definitely does not outturn Corsairs. But apparently I'm an extremely good pilot and he was a rather poor... As I said, he tried to turn it to an energy fight against a superior climbing plane. And this guy will outturn me as well. But I'm on his 6, he's not on mine, so I have the angle advantage. And if I can press it and my climb rate advantage well enough, I can stay relatively behind him. And I only need one quick shot to kill him. I only need two quick shots to kill him. See, he's outturning me quite badly, even though I have energy and he's nowhere near the right speed. But there we go. Oh my god, please don't kill me. Thank you teammates for not killing me. Wow. This team really wants to get themselves killed. Long story short, this is our airbase. This is a massive swarm of us. If you dive into this mess, 
it's your fault you died. <laughs> I'm sorry, but aren't it? <laughs> There's no help for you if you're that dumb. <laughs> uh, I know 3 and 0 looks good, but I really don't like this plane. I hate it when I do well in planes I don't like as I'm talking about how bad they are. I swear this plane isn't any good. It's good, it's just not that good. As I said, a 109 has the same as a similar weapon performance to you. And is superior in most ways. They can't outturn you, but you can't outturn them or anyone else for that matter. Oh, that guy. Oh, please don't kill me, that guy. Please let me kill you, that guy. Go into an energy fight. I can't I can't deal with you in a turn fight. I can energy fight with you though. Stop turning. Yes! Ha! Oh, fuck! Nougat! Basically, that guy could have slaughtered me if he had seen me. Please, nobody ram my kill. Well, calling him my kill was probably a little... He wasn't really my kill, my kill, but... I was working on it. Okay. So I have just enough ammo to go head on with someone. Bring it. By someone, I mean someone who's not a bowfighter. The bowfighter can't turn anymore, and it's no longer difficult to kill. It's actually become rather fragile. Come on, P-38. You want to go head on with me, don't you? Come on, Fuck Wolf. You want to go head on with me, don't you? All right, well. Come on, Spitfire. You want to go head on with me, don't you? Another, I, I said, another Yak 3. I'm not actually in a Yak 3. Ooh, 109. Look at me, 109. Over here. No. No. Oh, and somebody else went after me, and I wasn't paying attention. I'll miss my life. I do miss my life. I don't miss the plane, though. Oh, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> I never get to fly my Yak 3 anymore. People just don't want to kill me in the in my least favorite plane in my lineup right now. I became an ace before I was violently murdered. Hey, I got the compressor now. And for those of you telling me why are you complaining about a plane not being good before it's fully upgraded, I have a I've fully upgraded the first two Law 5s. And this Law 5 does end up with an even better climb rate. It does not end up turning any better. It does not end up rolling any better, which they do roll very well. They roll really well and they climb really well, which means they're basically purposely built for rolling in flat scissors. Any other maneuver fight whatsoever, you're going to lose, which is what I was doing with the Corsair. I was doing a vertical rolling scissors, which played right into my advantages and right into his disadvantages. That's the only reason I was able to match him. I wasn't able to beat him. It wasn't until that he decided to turn the wrong way entirely that I ended up on his tail. <laughs> So that wasn't this plane being good, that wasn't me being a good pilot, that was the Corsair being a bad pilot that allowed me to beat him. Other than that, that was just me being in the right time to shoot them. Every single kill I got, I could have gotten in almost any other plane. So, you know. Well, it's not a good plane, there aren't really any truly bad planes in this game. There are some that are pretty poor, but... Mostly the weapons are how most planes perform in arcade. Other than that, it usually doesn't matter that much. And this plane has good weapons, so... If, in arcade, this is a good plane, simply because it has good weapons, all that really matters in arcade. And as a result, I went 5-1. and one. I was an ace. Even if I wasn't an ace for very long. Being an ace is all that matters. 